Hi right, guys, welcome to this episode of Raw Fishing. Uh, as you can tell, we're having a lovely British summer. Don't know if you can see all the rain behind me, but you can see how drenched I am. Anyway, I am on the North Kent coast and I'm doing a bit of smooth hound fishing. Oh, I've collected myself some of my own crabs, which I've got in here. There we go, you can see a few of them there. Oh, I've just collected these myself off the North Kent coast uh, yesterday. And there's a couple of softies, mainly hardbacks, but they all still work. Um, so yeah, we set up, it's uh, absolutely pissing down with rain as I said. But uh, I got me a uh, continental rod set straight up and put a uh, nice bit of crab out there. And sent it out there and before I'd even got my rig on the other rod. We could hear the clicker going. And here we go, lovely smooth hound in here. I haven't got a weight on it yet, but looks pretty big. Maybe eight pounder. Uh, All right, guys, still fishing away. So within minutes of me taking that last video, my mate Simon, who I've been teaching how to fish in the past couple of months, who's been doing really bloody well. Let's just show him there quickly. Hello. Simon has just caught his first double figure fish at 10 pounds, five ounces. So massive well done to him. This one weighs in six pounds, seven ounces. It was worth getting wet tonight, eh? And that was off both of our first casts. Look at these beautiful fish. Yeah, we'll carry on till it becomes unfishable. If it becomes unfishable with the weed. But hopefully we get a good few fish up on this beach here tonight. Now, I've just seen my continental rod lift up in the air. We'll check the drag on that in a sec. Hopefully, we've uh, got some more of these babies. Anyway, we've got to wait on them. We'll uh, get some more pictures and some videos of these guys, and then we'll get these these lovely fish back in the water. Happy days. Look at that run, guys. Look at that run. Right, let's see what's going on here. Oh, we're fighting decent on here, guys. Giving me the what pot, and it feels heavy. Still raining, cats and dogs. <laughs> <laughs> but do you care when you're on the fish? Do your hell. Look at that rod. Whee! Getting close now, guys. Look at that fish, mate. Well, I can't see nothing. Oh, it's two. It's two. It's two, it's two look. Oh. No, I've got someone else's line. No, you're on your line, mate. You're tangled on your own. All right, guys, what a crazy start to the session. So, if we look in our paddling pool, we have one, two, three, four. I think five smooth rounds, wait. Can I even count? Am I too excited to count? One, two, three. No, there's only four in there. <laughs> so Simon's had his first double on this common smooth hound down here. I've had my first double of the night on this beautiful starry over here. Simon Green on his first double figure fish, which is a common smooth round, and he's going to take it and put it back in the sea. Simon, just take one more look at me with that shark in your hands. Look at the size of this boy. Get your headlight off it. Look at that shark, mate. Simon's done a good job tonight, mate. Well done, boy. All right, just get in as far as you can and put his face in and hold the tail a minute. Hold the tail. Right, he's been reviving in the pool, so now I'll just shove him off, he should be alright. Straight off strong, look at that. 
guy gonna release my smallest starry smooth hound. So this one I think is about five pound. Lovely. Let's get him out of here. Time to release my lovely big double figure shark. Whoa, they're strong, these guys. Pure muscle. This is a starry one. You can see all the uh, dots going up him. Anyway, he's had a time to recover in the pool with the aerator. Let's let him go. Fishing UK exclusive North Coast clips. Exclusive seaweed. <laughs> right, guys, this is all we're using for bait tonight. Pretty much is the peeler crab. Although tell a lie, I caught the little story on lugworm, but uh, that black lug rather. You can see we've got a peeler crab all dressed up here. See if we make Simon will load the light quickly. See if we can't get a nicer shot. So you can see I've left the legs on on one side, tied them up, and I've slipped one hook through the back. It's probably a bit hard to tell in this light, and another one a bit further up. He's wrapped all up nicely with bait elastic. Now this is a hard back. He's not even a softie or a peeler, but you got to use what you can find. And there weren't many softies or peelers around. And Simon has actually had his first double figure on a pure hardback tonight. So goes to show that they can work. Uh, maybe you could also think it might pick out the bigger fish with the more powerful jaws using the hardbacks. Anyway, I'm going to waste no more time. I'm going to get this out there. All right, guys, it's still pretty crazy down here tonight. So me and Simon just had another one and another cast each. Unfortunately, Simon's one was very badly gut hooked and it was bleeding heavily. So he's going to take that one for the table, which is fair enough. And I've caught another lovely starry in here. I was using two rods. I know you can barely see with this lot. I was using two rods, but it was getting a bit hectic to be using two. Also, we're near the high tide now, if not actually on the high tide. Sorry guys, I know it's dark. So yeah, you can see the water's come right in and I got done pretty badly by this big old clump of seaweed on this rod. I thought I had another fish on. I thought I had a double hook up on each rod, but um, nah, the first one was a smooth bound, that starry that I just showed you. And the second one was this. There might have been a hound on there, to be honest, I thought I did feel it fighting and I might have dropped it at the last minute, but we're down to the one rod for the moment. I might pull the weed off and carry on in a minute. We'll see how this one rod does. Yeah, I thought I had a bit of clicking. Thank you for coming to see me. There we go, nice and strong. I'll keep an eye on him a sec because he, he looks like he's turning left. Yeah, so make sure he don't come back to us. Ah, 
massive fish that way. Look at his dorsal thing coming out of the water. Beautiful. Lovely, isn't it? It's alright, you say. And then give it a test then. Then you've got two options, try and wait it out. Yeah, mate. I was going to say something, but when the tide comes in, it goes the opposite way, doesn't it? Of course it was a fish. He's a big boy. <laughs> Happy days, eh? Big fish after big fish tonight. You got the rod for me, yeah? There we go again. Another smooth round shark. Not far off double figures, I'd say this one. But not quite a double figure. Woo! Still got the fight. Right guys, it's time to put the last fish of the night back in the sea. Oi, look at this fish. It's time to let him go. Now when you handle a smooth hound, always keep a hand under the belly here and support the tail as well. Never just hold them by their tails because they will chuck their guts up. Always handle these fish right. And hold on tight, you can see he's still fighting now. Just keep watching him a minute, make sure he makes it out to sea. And I think he's nice and safe. Alright guys, what an end to a brilliant session mate. Multiple smooth bounds in, double figures each. It doesn't really get much better than that. Uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed watching tonight's episode of Raw Fishing. And I hope to see you again soon. Pull up.